Hey Gemini, what is up? It's your girl Kat. We're going to do your weekly reading right now. Hope everybody is doing okay. So I've already shuffled and at the bottom of the deck, El Diablo. <laughs> All right, let's break this bad boy down. Let's see what we got. All right, I think my card's upside down. If you're new to the channel, welcome. So I lay all the cards out and then I um, interpret them. So bear with me while I do that. And you guys, I do my own spread. It's just my own thing that I feel. It's a 13 card spread. 13 is my lucky number. And um, I don't know. It just works for me. It's just my own brand. <laughs> All right. Oh, snap. Mm, we don't like him. Okay. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you. That's what's up. I appreciate you so much. I really do. Um, sincerely. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we got here. It's kind of all over the place, honestly, guys. We got a little bit of everything. Um, bottom of deck, we get the Hermit. All right. So this is the Page of Wands, Page of Messengers, right? Wands are action, passion, creativity, new beginnings. So you're either in the beginning stages of a new beginning or there's one on the way or you're thinking about a new beginning or something to that effect. Here's the King of Pentacles. So this is security, stability, um, it's financial stability. So you could be involved with somebody who is very financially stable, very secure, got their shit together, basically. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, here's the surveillance camera. So like I said, pages are messengers. This is the page of swords. So he's out on the hillside with his sword drawn. He's anticipating, right? He's like surveying the landscape. That's why I say he's a surveillance camera. He's watching. He's watching and he's anticipating something. So... I feel like I feel like this person's watching you, Gemini. Yeah, I feel like this person has got their eye on you. They're watching you. They're watching your social media. You know, they're kind of like paying attention to your patterns and your actions, right? They're studying you a little bit, getting to know you, I feel like. And they're starting to develop some feelings for you. So it looks like you are maybe in the beginning stages of a new relationship with, um, could be a... Um, with the pentacles here, it could be an earth sign. So it could be uh, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. It could be somebody who's got some kind of money or stability, and they're keeping an eye on you, and they're starting to develop like some feelings for you here, okay? The nine of pentacles, I feel like that's your energy, you know? Just kind of out on your own, doing your own, own thing, being independent, right? You could either have some financial troubles right now or you're just not talking to a lot of people. Just kind of like cut off everybody and just working and taking care of business right now. Nine of Cups is happy. But I think that this person is going to offer you a relationship because so you know how I said that the pages are messengers, right? Well, the knights are, they bring the offer. So we had a message about a new beginning, right, with somebody. And now here's the offer, okay? They want to offer you their little sippy cup of love here, you know? It's like, oh, baby, I've been watching your social media. I've been paying attention to you, and you light my fire. Here's my sippy cup of love. <laughs> but what is up with this bullshit? Uh-oh. So some of you could still be nursing a broken heart or trying to get over a previous relationship or a past hurt. And maybe this person is one of the reasons this person is keeping an eye on you is to just kind of like give you some time and let you heal from whatever you've just been through. Okay, because for some of you, these two cards together, it looks like you've just endured a pretty hard breakup or heartbreak or something heartbreaking, not necessarily a relationship. It could be a loss of some sort, but something that was really heartbreaking to you and stressing you out and keeping you up at night. Like, you know, you try to put your head on the pillow. It's just like thoughts on repetition and you can't get any rest, right? Here's that little sippy cup of love again. Strength. Okay, so this could be um, could be a Leo or 
Yes, this person is just waiting. They're, they're, they're being strong and holding back and waiting, giving you time to heal before they come in and offer you this relationship. That's what's up. All right, this is an equal partnership. This is a, like an equal give and take. So this is somebody who's gonna meet you halfway and put in all the work and like, you know, this is good shit right here. I love the, the Six of Pentacles. And that is clarified by, look at that beautiful ass card. That is the Ace of Cups. So yeah, this person is gonna be very equal for you and they're gonna be incredibly loving for you and they're going to make you feel so fulfilled your cup is just going to be like overflowing you're going to have a sense of peace and it's going to be a very peaceful harmonious equal partnership for you with this this um earth sign here <laughs> conflict and death okay so this is scorpio's card so you could be involved with a scorpio here um or maybe that's who you're trying to get over is a Scorpio, but there's some kind of conflict here as well and a transformation needing to take place. So I feel like you need to make some changes, Gemini, like, like transformative changes, like big changes, like relocation, like, you know, changing your job, like a big deal, you know? And, um, you're conflicted about that. You're not sure how you feel about that. Ooh, the moon clarified by the moon. So you're keeping a lot of shit to yourself, you know, not in a deceptive way. You're just not um, sharing your feelings about things with other people right now. Um, everybody's like on a need to know basis with you. Let me put it to you that way. And that's when I picked up earlier when I said you're just focusing on yourself and I feel like you've cut off a lot of communication with a lot of people. I feel like you have a lot of people on a need to know basis right now. Like you just want to be private and mind your own business. You're not looking for any drama. And I feel like you, you know, some of you are in a healing, healing phase right now. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that you're just like, I don't, I don't want to deal with anybody right now. Text messages, conversations coming through. Uh, could be with that that uh, King of Pentacles there. They want to move forward with you. Yes, I think that they're going to send you a message. You know, they've been watching you. They've been giving you some time. But I feel like they're waiting. They're waiting it out. And they're going to send you a message saying, hey, I, I would like to move this forward with you. I really like you a lot. You know, and they're going to they're gonna give you that offer of that relationship. And it's the one that's going to be very equal. And it's going to, like, really make you very, very so fulfilled it's gonna be great okay you're gonna have maybe a couple of options here this person's at a distance from you i'm feeling distance yeah yeah i feel like that you know it might be long term for you a little bit you're gonna to have to set boundaries with that and make sure that you're not settling for a situation you don't really want to be involved with so make sure you set boundaries and stick up for yourself regarding that distance okay and here's the um, page of cups. Remember I said pages are messengers, okay? And cups are our emotions. So somebody wants to tell you about their emotions for you and a new beginning. That's the Ace of Wands. It's a new beginning. All right. So yeah, this person is definitely looking at you, giving you some time. And you're very guarded right now, I feel like. Yeah. And you feel stuck in that energy that like, I just, I just want to keep to myself. I don't want to talk to anything. You're kind of stuck in that that energy right now and I do feel like this person on the horizon here they see that they see that you're trying to heal and you're trying to get through whatever you know maybe you just lost a family member or a pet or I don't know you're facing something that has got you really struggling and going through some shit right now you know and I do feel like this person is like watching and waiting to tell you how they feel about you but when they do it's going to be a really fantastic relationship. It's going to be very equal and very loving and giving. But I do think that it might be a long distance or like at a distance or something like that. So you're going to have to make sure that you set boundaries and, you know, let this person know what you're okay with and what you're not okay with, right? Right from the, from the start. And you've been in this like guarded energy and you feel stuck in it. Like, you know, it's hard to open up 
and trust again when you've been burned so badly. Your girl knows, trust me. <laughs> it's not It's not easy. Um, but the right person, you know, Gemini, the right person will bring those walls down without without you even realizing it's happening, you know. And you'll be opening up to this person and realizing that, oh, I think I kind of trust this person. And, you know, maybe like giving a little more each time you're together or, um, but they're gonna break these walls down. They are. And they're going to show you like how good this can be, okay? And they're gonna help you heal from the bullshit that you've just been through. So it's gonna be a really dynamic relationship for you, I feel like. Let's do whispers of love. I feel whispers of love for this one. These are such pretty cards. I love these cards, but they're huge. I right, will go ahead and put my glasses on because I can't see. All right. Got my big old drama lashes on today. So can't put my glasses on correctly because my lashes are so long. All right, so something really good on the way for you, Gemini. All right, what do you guys think? Top or middle? I feel top. Choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. It's a pretty card. Choose love. So, yeah, I think, you know, a lot of you have a really great new love on the way for you. And it's going to be very supportive and very, like, equal and giving. And it's really going to, like, I think it's going to be a really beautiful relationship for you. You know, like an equal partnership, equal give and take, you know, just overflowing with love. You're going to feel very fulfilled. And I think this person is going to knock down all those walls that you have up without even trying without even trying. I got goosebumps right now. Let me know in the comments. I know this applies to somebody because my, my skin is standing up. And I, oof. <laughs> All right. So that's what I have for you this week. I hope that you like that, Gemini. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, <laughs> hit the button. Come on. Join Scorpio Cat family. The more the merrier. Love to have you. And if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, you hit the button the little bell shape and they'll let you know all right well that's what i have for you for this week so until next time gemini take care bye